Sora is here and other AI video tools such as Kling, which is amazing and has Sora-like effects, is only available if you have a Chinese cell phone number on an iOS device. So there are other AI video tools that are doing some amazing work, but now we have Dream Machine by Luma Labs. You could see from Luma Labs, which is formerly known as a 3D um, asset creator and 3D AI video, this now is Dream Machine, which has some amazing results. It's pretty fast. It generates within 120 seconds, but it will take some time with the queue right now. But it's still pretty impressive. Just hold on and wait. And it's getting a little bit better as we uh, each day that it's available. For the current limitations right now, it does have a morphing, just like most AI video. It, you know, kind of turns to something else. Movement, you can see the dog is not really touching the ground. Text, it has some difficulty generating accurate text. In the Janus effect, it looks like uh, they have a lot going on with that, where the polar bear is turning, has two heads and a little bit of hallucination. I was lucky enough to get early access to use Luma. And the dream machine from Numa Labs, and you could see this is one of the first images that I generated. This was from a tech a image that I uploaded from Mid Journey. Look at the the clarity of these videos; it's just amazing. This is another one that's just amazing. Um, it is a stunning glass dome structure. This was a text only prompt. This was not an image upload. And look at the people walking. You can see their legs look normal. It's pretty realistic looking. Um, this is my, one of my favorites because it's a helicopter and the helicopter the propellers are actually moving and it's just amazing. It looks very realistic and this was an image upload and it was able to get that movement multiple times. The kittens, this is a text only image, um, in, text only without an image. Two kittens playing on a fluffy rug in a cozy house. Look at the realistic, you know, view. One of them, their feet's kind of stuck in the rug, but... It's still pretty convincing. This was an image that I uploaded, and it was able... One of the good things about Luma's uh, Dream Machine is it's able to change shots, and it kind of goes and, and like adds on to the original image a lot of times, especially when you have action. This is another one that, if you look and notice, the flames are moving, and it looks pretty convincing in that manner, but her body does kind of morph a little bit, and she kind of moves over to the side in a strange way, but it still, it looks good. This was a text prompt only, and uh, notice, yes, her hands are still kind of jacked up, and her, she's holding a cup, a bowl instead of a cup in a cafe, but you can see the people moving behind her, and her mouth's moving as if she's speaking. This was a text only uh, prompt here. This is with, uh, modeled after Alien, the movie. And it's looking like she's having a conversation and you can see movement outside and it's almost like she's speaking on a radio or something like that. This one was pretty interesting because it's a rebel pilot, but this is showing him running around on the ground and moving when I didn't expect to see this because I thought it would be more like this, which is the same. And this is, both of these were text only prompts. And you see now I have two pilots, they're flying and I've, um, I, some type of a space dog fight and they're having a conversation but look at the movement out there it's pretty interesting this is a boho chic fashion shoot this was an image that i uploaded and i added that text prompt you see it's not bad but her arms start turning into the palms behind her so it, you do have some issues with bodies this one is the same prompt and it was only with the text prompt without an image not sure what's going on with her elbows, but overall, it's not too bad. And you can see the wind moving through the trees. You can see shadowing. This is an image that I uploaded from Mid Journey, and it's pretty amazing. The trees are moving, and the landscapes are moving in an odd direction. But look at the reflection, and it's very close to the original. It's amazing how it has, like, the water moving behind him. On this tropical fish swimming, it's pretty realistic. The fish does not change into anything and just swimming in the ocean. And that's, uh, this was an image upload. Plus, I used this text prompt with it. Pretty simple. Now, this one was another image that I uploaded. And uh, it's interesting, again, here you see where with the bodies, it kind of starts doing some different things and moving around. But um, it's trying to kind of fill in the gaps that I didn't include with that because it's a close-up. 
Overall, I, this is an image that I uploaded from Midjourney also. I'm just pretty impressed overall with the way that it's able to just kind of add movement that I'm not prompting. It's able to analyze that image and use that along with your prompt to create some pretty amazing shots. There are fails, but I think it's worth it. And right now, the price is you get, you can use this for free right now. You have 30 generations every month for free. After that, it becomes standard plan is $29.99. The pro plan is $99.99. That's for 400 generations per month. And the premier is $500. But um, I think that it might be worth it. That's for 2,000 generations, depending on what you're using it for. If you are a filmmaker and you're doing different things, um, where you want to use this for understanding how to model, uh, you were coming up with creative concepts and ideas, then this might be something that was would be worth the price. Um, comparatively, there are other plans such as like Midjourney. I'm on a pretty high plan for Midjourney. I'm paying uh, $120 a month. And that's something that for me, that's what I use because I use it so regularly. So for me, that might be worth it. People um, are, you know, a lot of people have been complaining. They say this is a high price, but this type of technology is not cheap at all. And it really does um, make a difference when you think about the ways you can use it. If you're just using it casually, then, you know, I think the free plan, why not try it? Just give it a try and see. Depends on what you're using it for. I will do some follow-up videos to show you some examples of different ways you can prompt and extend your frame by, you know, extracting the final frame or any frame you want from within a scene so that you can continue on with that and just see different ways ways we can take this further. But I, overall, I was impressed. I don't know, I wouldn't say it's necessarily as good as Sora, but we're not going to get Sora anytime soon. So we have to work with what we have and these things won't remain free forever. These, it, it, just, it was just launched this week, so I think that it's worth a shot. It's one of the best generators I've seen so far, and I use everything Gen 2, Pika, um, Leonardo, different uh, Kyber, the Forum, Crea AI video. They all have their, their pros and cons, but this is a different one, and I don't think I th I'm happy to see a new uh, tool that we can use to give us options to do more with. But give it a try.